So what is the Floyd Rose Hot Rod Series trim system? Is it actually different than the 1500 series? I'll break it all down in this video, but make sure you stick around to the end for a special axe announcement. This is the axe, let's go! Welcome back to the channel, everyone. For those of you that are new, my name is Nick, and Blockbuster was an inside job. I don't care what you say. So what is the Hot Rodded Floyd? So there's been a lot of confusion about this, especially around Schecter guitars in regards to the actual make and design and materials of the Floyd Rose Hot Rod original trim. All right, for starters, the Hot Rod series trim is an original Floyd Rose trim that's crafted and built in Germany. Everything on this trim except for the screws are made in Germany at the Schaller factory and you can validate this by flipping over the trim and on the back of the base plate it should say made in Germany. There's a little stamp there. Again, this trim is in the family of the original Floyd Roses, meaning that it's one of the top tier trims that the company makes. Now what makes the Hot Rod Series original trim different than all the other trims in the original lineup? For starters, the saddle screws and the smaller screws are made with stainless steel and those screws are made in the USA. Screws in the name of freedom, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Additionally, the hot rodded trim comes with a 37 millimeter fat brass sustain block, which is an awesome feature to come stock on a Floyd Rose trim. For reference in regards to fat blocks, um, I threw a fat block from Tone on my Ibanez Edge Bridge, and it has actually done wonders for the sound and sustain. Now in regards to price, the Hot Rodded Original Trim costs about $280 on the Floyd Rose uh, website, and this is new. This is the typical price range for all the other original trims, give or take about 10 or 20 bucks. The only real difference is the LTD Relic that Floyd Rose makes that comes with the locking nut. That'll cost you around 400. Now how is the original Hot Rod Floyd Trim different than the 1500 series? I've had a lot of questions about this for good reason, so let's clear it up right now. At first glance, the 1500 series really does look almost identical to the Hot Rod original Floyd. I mean, it's got the same stainless steel screws and colors like the Hot Rod, so I get it. But that's just about where the similarities end. The 1500 series is actually a Korean made trim as opposed to the original Hot Rod, which is handcrafted in Germany. Additionally, the 1500 series unfortunately does not come with that fat brass sustain block that it does in the original. Largely, the 1500 series is really a Korean-made trim. Like its cousin, the 1000 series, it just has stainless steel screws. So in my opinion, I believe Schecter guitars are a little bit to blame or bear some responsibility for the confusion between the 1500 series and the original hot-rodded trim. On the Schecter website, under the Sun Valley Super Shredder FRS, go ahead and take a look at the spec section under the uh, trim bridge area. Here it lists that the stock trim is a Floyd Rose Special Hot Rod Locking Trim and that it's a Schecter exclusive. This has led many to believe that you're getting an original Floyd Rose quality trim stock on this guitar, which is not the truth. To be honest, take a look at the overall price of the Sun Valley Super Shredder and it doesn't really match up. An original Floyd Rose would make this guitar cost way more. So that begs the question, what tremolo is actually on the Sun Valley Super Shredder. The truth is this trim is a Floyd Rose Special made with zinc alloy components that has stainless steel screws added to it exclusively for the Schecter brand. So Floyd Rose Specials are some of the lowest quality trims that Floyd Rose makes, but they are inexpensive and accessible to guitarists that want a trim on their guitar. I actually do a video breaking down all the intricacies of a Floyd Rose Special right here and I'll put a link in the video description. All right guys, so the time has come, special announcement. The Axe is starting an official podcast entitled Phase Splitter, and it's gonna start this summer and come out on YouTube, this channel, and all streaming platforms across the board. It's gonna be fun, we're just gonna be talking about metal, guitar, comedy, and also highlighting new up and coming guitarists on social media. So start sending us some videos, reels of lesser known guitarists that you love, and we'll put them up on the screen, talk about them, give them some exposure, laugh, joke, and um, you know, it'll be a good time. All right guys, that's the end of this video. Please subscribe below so you don't miss any more videos like this one. Catch y'all later.